Yeah. Iceland. Wonderful. Oh, wow. So far, Iceland, Denmark, U.S. Hello from Niagara yeah. Falls, Ontario, Canada. I'm a Zervita person. You got it. Hello, Canada. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, look, another Ontarian. I'm Donna from North Bay, Ontario. Hey. <laughs> More Canadians. Wonderful. Greetings from the Netherlands. Hey, hey Wanda. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, well. We're going to hit that live button here and go live. And I am going to mute everyone as it always can be some noise in the background, but you are welcome to add your comments here uh, to the chat. If you would have any comments or questions, we'd love to hear them. So welcome everybody to our Saturday call. We love to greet our family this way each and every week. Uh, every week we try to do different things on here. It can be sometimes an interview with somebody, but many of you that are watching here are also partners and want to build your business. So many times we have somebody who has already built an extraordinary business and grab the wisdom from them so that we can follow in their footsteps. And today, if there's one person that's got a higher title than I do that I want to follow in his footsteps, it is this uh, guest speaker today. Not only does he have the wisdom, but he also has the heart in the place that I want to follow and builds his business in the way that uh, not only uh, helps others, but it really brings up the entire business, the entire profession. And so for me, he's the very picture of what Zenzino should be. So I am ready with my paper and pen because I know he's got a training prepared for us. So let's welcome on here the fantastic ambassador, Dave Ives. Hi, Dave. Hey, Carla. Good morning, everybody over there across the pond. I hope everyone's doing well. It's good to see some faces. Let me just give a, a, sh a few out shout outs. Well, it's got Donna on it, but I know it's Jeff I'm looking at. So good to see you, Jeff. Uh, Ricardo there over in Portugal. Uh, Colin from the uh, from the Emerald Isle, but he's looking like an AI avatar right now. Guy, Guy Charles is probably one of the most consistent faces I see on these calls. And of course, I don't want to leave any... When you start saying names... People are waiting for theirs to be called out, right? So that's always an error of mine. But uh, Valerie, uh, of course, we broke bread last year around that beautiful decking of Carla's as we watched the sunset. And this is part of the business we don't talk enough about. And that is the, the friendships, the newfound friendships, even when they're not in your pay line. That's where a lot of people struggle, right, when they build this industry. And, of course, we've got Victor there. That's always a, a character on stage, he always does a great MC and uh, been a pioneer of the Zenzino business for many years. But uh, the first thing that's really important to Shannon and I is, one, I found my bride in this industry. Uh, two, we uh, we have now got a blended family and, uh, you know, our salvation first and our family, then our Zenzino business, because we've been both blessed to come out of a, a restauranteering business. I was like the Denny chef and Shan had a travel business, which she lost in covid and Zenzino replaced that and some. It's amazing when you ask and do are willing to do the work, more than abundance is given. Uh, and we're seeing that on a daily basis. And But in the last six months to 12 months, Shannon and I have really purposefully really started to look at how we build our business or, or what we need to do to grow. Now, not just to grow us, but to grow leaders. Uh, and that is to, most importantly, you've got to know your numbers. You've got to learn what numbers represent. You've got to, it's okay to be caught up in the wave of the, the growth of Zinzino. But if we're not growing inside of that growth, then there's things that we need to do. Uh, and if you look around, not only is Zinzino growing organically, but they're starting to attract many companies, right? The leaderships and the acquisitions. And, uh, and of course, that's going to have a reflection on our numbers, but Majority of our numbers, of Zenzino numbers, are still very much organic. 
But there's us. I think there's seasons in our Zinzino business that we got to prepare for, uh, that we got to sow seeds for, and then we got to go do the work, even when it doesn't look like it's bearing any harvest, because it's not the season for harvesting. But it does that is still a season that we must do the work. We must be do have due diligence. We've got to have that consistency. And of course, I think we're in that season of preparation right now. Uh, I don't know if you're aware, but come September. We have an ECBX campaign. So a lot of people think September is a way off when they announced it, this campaign at the beginning of August and that we have time to prepare. And how many realize we're almost approaching 50% of our preparation time has gone. And people will be frantically trying to prepare towards the end of August so they can maximize September. And today's training is something that I've, I've prayed on and I've put together over the, the last couple of months as I shared with pockets of organizations within our team. And I want to share that with you today. And if I share anything that's not in alignment with your leadership and your training, then please double check. But uh, I, I appreciate Carla foremost. She's a family to us. Um, secondly, uh, she has a open house policy with us and vice versa. Um, so we care about color tremendously. So when invited on to, to speak on calls like this, it's we don't just show up just to do a team call. We take it responsibly, and we think it's a privilege to be able to speak to an exciting team and a market out of the Canadian and the UK, uh, the US market and the Mexicans. And um, again, I've done it again. Started mentioning continents and markets. Uh, but majority of you are in those markets I've just mentioned. And there's a responsibility. Of course, if you haven't seen it, our founder is over there right now doing roadshow. And it, it's room that is packed, room after room after room. And of course, many of you in the Canadian market and the US market particularly, you've been wanting this season. But you don't want to be left behind in this season. You want to be grabbing that momentum and start doing the things that we know we need to do. And so today I, I want to share with you a couple of things. And it's more of a workshop. And that's and those who know me, I'd rather fly by the seat of my pants and speak from the heart and let the Holy Spirit talk. But there's a certain time when you've got to know what you're doing, why you're doing it, and then commit to it. Because otherwise, we're just in. But being in doesn't mean we're going to succeed, and it doesn't mean that we're going to be positioning ourselves to take advantage of this growth, one that's happening. But in this season, in August and September, as we prepare, and of course, I know, just heard the announcement of your annual convention in the US, your very first convention, and then, of course, we're backing that up with the European Global Annual Event in Oslo. How many of you want to get to the point where you're traveling the world, attending annual events around the world because you've built a business that no longer needs you to be where you need to be Monday morning? See, that's a season away. But you can prolong that season or you can make that season come faster. But it's going to be down to us having the goals, having a strategy, and then having the desire and the commitment to execute it. So if you're in a classroom mindset, we're going to jump into a workshop. Where, and, uh, of course, we all had the privilege of listening to the best of the best when it comes to master classes, Mr. Art Jonah. And so as I watch Art, my, one of my desires, goals, and passions is somewhere down the road when I grow up into from a boy to a man is that I can I can captivate people just as effectively and converse a simple message so poignantly as art does. And, and what I don't think there's many better. I'd put art as one of the top five individuals in the world that communicates a message. And you know, he's for the last four or five years, he's been there supporting the market. And now we're going to see huge growth there. So let's jump into the me sharing my screen and let's get to work. Let's uh, bring up my slides and I'll, I'll ask Carla if she can see those. Excellent. Okay. So after today, we need immediate action. Um, we need immediate action, but you don't need to take action. Ready? I want to put a prerequisite in here. You don't need to take action if you don't have a goal. 
So I'm actually going to be speaking to you today and talking and sharing with you as though that you've got your goal written down. But if you don't have a goal written down, this is not going to really appeal to you because you still not yet made a decision. In September, I'm hoping you've already written a goal. And that goal, first and foremost, God's grace is coming through my curtain. I'm going to have to just disappear. Well, am I still here? Let me just, can you see me? There we go. There we go. You may lose me, but keep an eye on the slides. Okay, so, so the reality is, it's going to require immediate action. So put in the comments, if you would, who has a goal, right? Who has a goal for September that you want to take advantage of the campaign of ECBX? That's still new to many of us. Carla and I, we've been around five plus years. That used to be called 200% ECB. It's called ECBX, but it still equates to the same thing, that we get triple volume for the volume that we generate through the month of September. But it requires us to do something in August to comply to that. And if you've not double-checked your campaign sheets, I would urge you immediately to make sure you understand the criteria. But once you have and you've decided that you want to rank advance, and remember, always let your goal be your goal. Don't let a, a team, don't let a sponsor, don't let an upline put their idea onto you what your goal should be. Why? I've learned rapidly that in the last five years, not just in Zinzina, but in my career of building, is if it was never my goal in the first place, then I would never take ownership of the work required. It's just, just the way it is. I, people can say, they, you could be A, B, and C, and we expect more of you, and I, we can see you as. But if I yet don't see myself as that, then guess what? I won't even go work towards what I believe I can be because I don't want to disappoint anyone. So the reality is your goal should always remain your goal. But here's some initial steps we need to do immediately. Is one, if you do have a goal, you want to unify your team. Could be just you right now, right? If it's just you, that's exciting because you only have to unify you. You only have to announce it to you. But if you've got a team, doesn't matter if it's one, five, 10, 50, 500, you've got to declare where you want to go in September. Why? Because once your team feels, sense that you're moving, they're going to want to move with you. There's going to be those who are going to want to sit and you've got to leave them where they are. And they're going to be those who got, there's on your team that are going to be cheerleaders for you but they're not going to be the ones that are going to want to take advantage of the campaign. So first of all, to know what you're doing and let your team know, you've got to unify the team. You've got to let them know what you're planning to do. The second thing you've got to do, then you take the time to identify those who want to go with you now. I don't know about you. The biggest mistake I've made is that I want everybody to come. I want to help everybody that I've been a floodlight in many times I've built. I've been a floodlight trying to light everybody and trying to help everybody necess doesn't necessarily mean you achieve your goal because you're spreading yourself thinly. You want to be more of a spotlight. You want to identify a few. And I've got to say, um, Carla may be totally different. I know she is. She's very skilled. But I'm not skilled enough to help. 10, 20 people at the same time because that takes time. So identify your runners and then organize them. So one, let them know that you're running. Two, identify those who want to go with you. And then three, organize them. And very quickly, immediately, in the next 24, 48 hours, have those phone calls. Maybe you've already done that anyway. We're halfway through August. And I'm hoping that you've already started to identify a few people anyway without this training today. But if you haven't, this is immediate action. We've got two weeks to find out who they are and start getting them organized and get them into action very quickly. And when I mean organized, I mean get their commitment. Must be their goal. And this is another thing I want us to all think about is that if you've got a goal of A, to be in a certain rank, 
and you have four or five people that put their hand up and say, I want to, I've got a goal and I want to, I want to hit a rank. And then you add all those goals together and it still doesn't give you the volume that you want for your goal. Help them hit their goal and know that you need to go find some new blood. Never try to get more volume out of those that are wanting to great volume than where they want to go. Because they'll work with you in that process. If you try to take them beyond where they want to go, they're going to resist it. Until they get there, and there may be some time left in the month, and they go, you know what, I didn't realize I was actually going to hit my goal. I wanted to. Now I've hit it. I believe that there's a little bit more left in the tank. Great. Then jump onto them. But let that make them be their decision. So organize them. Now, for me, many of you know that um, I love talking. So I love, I love a video or an audio. And once you've organized three or four runners, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get them communicating quickly as possible. Get back into their list. Identify some of the people that are in their pipeline. Um, go back to those who never said no, they just said not yet, and just reconnect with them and find a way that works for you. For me personally, I know a lot of people still text. I don't like texting. I get bombarded with text messages. Now, please, if you use text messages and that works for you, find a way that you like doing it. I love doing a, a short audio or a short video. Hey, Carla, how are you? I know it's been six months that, since we last spoke, but hey, it'd be great to catch up. Now, if it's a reconnect, I'm not hitting them immediately with, um, hey, I've got to go, and in the next six weeks, I want to, and I just want to, if I'm reconnecting, then it's a reconnect. But it, the reconnect doesn't have to take days. You can, I could reconnect with Carla today. Hey, Carla, it's just, you're on my mind. I thought I'd give you a quick call. It's been six months or so since we last. Be great to catch up with you. If you're around tomorrow, hit me up. And she messages me back. Great. That's reconnected. I'm now into it. So what's been going on, Carla? What's working with you right now? And what you're working on? And uh, how's the family? Great. You're still at the lake? Or are you back over in Denmark? Da, da, da. Hey, look, the reason I wanted to catch up with you is one, to see where how things were going. And two, to see we last spoke. I'm back into it. And you can you can connect, reconnect and then position in the same day, depending how they respond to you. It doesn't have to take days or weeks. It can take hours. But have the discernment of when to do it. You've got to be mature in your discernment of, you know, this, uh, Carla, where Carla says, yeah, Dave, it's, yeah, I've been busy, great, but I'm busy until Tuesday. Well, Carla, I need to talk to you tomorrow. Well, no, you know, use discernment. So organize it. I like a video and I like a two-minute audio. But when I'm doing my audio, it's a short, it's a call to action. Hey, Carla, it's been a while since we last spoke, about six months, isn't it? Boy, where's the time gone? The year's almost gone. We're almost into 25. Hey, give me, message me back if you're around tomorrow. It'd be great to catch up. That's it. But when I do my audio, I'm standing up and I'm walking up and down. Why? It generates energy. Text messages for me are flat. Um, I, I have enough, but if I see a voice message, I'm intrigued. I want to know. I don't want to, I want to, I want to hear what someone has got to say to me. So all I'm saying is when you find your runners, then your goal is to organize them into action very quickly. And then get focused on the reconnecting, the reach outs, and get these pipelines starting to fill up in August. So now I'm going to use for this illustration today, it, obviously, I'm hoping majority of us know the compensation plan from the press perspective of we know what it takes volume wise. We know what a silver is balanced three seven fifty. Sorry, seven fifty. Gold is fifteen hundred balance credits. We know executive. And if you've seen the trend here, executive is three thousand. Platinum is six thousand. So hopefully, you've seen the trend. If we want a rank advance, it doubles every time we need a rank advance until you get to the crown and royal crown status, but up until uh, diamond and director and crown, it doubles all the time. But for this illustration, I'm gonna use diamond today. 
Now, if you want to be a diamond, you're not a diamond yet, and you want to be diamond by the end of September, then put a one or a little diamond emoji in your uh, chat below. But also, if you don't, that's perfectly fine. Put the rank that you want to be by, by the end of September, because I want you to decide your own goal, your rank then clearly what we're going to do is then we're going to work out the volume that we need to create. And again, as I said, I want to make sure everybody's relaxed with this. I'm going to use diamond as an illustration. So diamond, for those who don't know, it's 12 balance, sorry, 12,000 balance credits. We know we're a one third, two third. We can get away with 50, 50, half and half, but I'm going to use a third and two thirds at, for this illustration. So ultimate kits, I'm not going to I'm not going to count new customer premier kits. I'm not going to count a new customer subscriptions repetitive uh, reprocessed every month. I'm not going to calculate basics or advanced for this illustration. I just want to show you if you understand numbers, you can go diamond from zero in September with no team. Will you be tired? Yes. But will you be rewarded? Yes. So 12,000 balance credits. So 4,000 coming from one team, which is if you break that down, you're not ECB qualified. You're not 200% ECBX. This is pure basic credits. We know an ultimate kit is 150 credits. So if you want to generate 4,000 credits in your one third team, you're going to need 27 ultimates. If you're going to do 8,000 in your other team, you need 53 ultimates. And I want you to remember this number. That means if, forget everything else, just 80 ultimate packs, you will hit diamond in September. That's without ECB. So what this illustration is going to show you that we're not including product kits. We're not including auto orders. We're not uh, including premier kits. We're not including subscriptions, which in reality, all these do count towards your diamond run or your rank run of your choice. But I'm excluding all that. I'm just focusing on making the rest of August and September a recruitment focus. So you don't have ECB. They're the amount of ultimate packs we would need. But now let's look. If you were ECB qualified, I'm just moving a bar along. ECB qualified. Now we know that ECB means we're getting double volume. Now we know also that a brand new partner who starts in August or even starts in September, has ECB. We also know that if you enroll a brand new partner in August, that they get 200% ECB. That's part of the campaign. But I want you to understand the, the power of moving people from not being ECB, ECB qualified, and then capitalizing on a 200% ECB month. For those who don't know, because we've got a lot of new teams joining and a lot of new, new partners, we've even got mature partners who've been around a while that have not yet made the decision to start building effectively. So this may be a refresher for you. ECB qualified means we get paid double on all our credits, whether it be personally enrolled or from anywhere within our organization. So if someone in your organization 20 levels below you, 50 levels below you. What a grace that Sinzino has a compensation plan that it's to infinity. There's no cutoff. So if someone 50 levels from you brings in an ultimate partner and you're ECB qualified, that means you get 300 credits rather than 150 credits from someone in your organization that you didn't know. So is that important to be ECB qualified? Forget the campaign, and the way we can be ECB qualified is by being X team. So, 
So whether it be new customer subscriptions, whether it be auto orders from your partners, you're going to get double, sorry, new partner subscriptions. That is new customers coming in, forget that auto order. That's RCB plus new customer subscriptions will double. So for those who don't know, Guy Charles enrolls me as a new customer and I'm on a, a balance oil. He's ECB qualified. So instead of getting 14 credits, he gets 28 credits. Tell me if you would rather get paid double for the same thing. It doesn't make sense to me why people just don't understand just a little bit of nuances that could pay them twice as much for the same effort. But they start to understand when they really make a decision to start building. So you don't have to know all the compensation plan, but learn the compensation plan to the point where you know that you're not leaving any money on the table. It doesn't make sense if you're going to put time in get paid the maximum from the compensation plan. Health protocol. Donna enrolls me as a health protocol customer out there from Canada and, and signs me up in the United Kingdom. Instead of being 22 credits, it's worth 44 credits. So from going from not being ECB qualified to being ECB qualified, you're doubling the volume on the same effort. But now let's forget all of that. And remember, we're just focusing on ultimate packs for this illustration. Look at the power of the ECB. Remember, I said I want you to remember that number. If you don't have ECB, you need 80 ultimate packs to go diamond. If you're ECB qualified, you only need 39 ultimate packs to go diamond. You just reduced your workload by 50%. That's powerful, ladies and gents. And I don't think many talk about this enough to show people the impact. When people say, I don't have the time. I don't know. Well, if you don't have the time, work smart. Get ECB qualified so you don't, don't you do the same work, but you get paid double. That's smart business. So now we know the impact what ECB has. So you, there's you. Option one, are you ECB qualified? So after this call, I want you to make sure, do you know if you are ECB qualified? Option one, if you're brand new in the last two, three months and you're in your fast start period and you bought a product kit, actually, reframe. You don't even have to be in your fast start period as regards to in your fast starts, but you must have bought a product kit. That's what unlocks your ECB. So if you've got started and you bought a product kit, a basic, advanced, or an ultimate, then your ECB qualified for your first 120 days. Option two, if you've been around longer than four months and you're not ECB qualified, then you need to be X team. So you need to have 10 personal subscriptions that generates 50 customer credits. So a good goal this month, if you're not, if you're not X team, make sure you're finished August as X team. So when the campaign of September finishes with X team, sorry, uh, ECBX campaign, as we move into October, you're not going to go from being paid triple to, to to flat rate you're going to go being paid double you don't want to come out of xb acbx to going to the basic rate you want to make sure you're being paid double so if you're not x team at the moment that would be a good goal for you to do in august well dave i've only got six customer subscriptions great go x team that means you need four more customer subscriptions oh by the way Every customer subscription you get, you get an action point. That means you got four action points, and you only have to generate four action points to qualify in September for ECBX. So by building the basics of going X team, you actually qualified for the ECBX campaign and prepared yourself to carry on the growth in October. See, when we understand what we're doing and why we're doing it, that gives us more energy to make the call.
And if you're not XB S S ECB qualified, then we simply work harder for the money we generate. So every partner that you work alongside, that you bring on board, help them complete their fast starts and help them get to X team as soon as possible. So we know the power of not being ECB. We know the power of being ECB. But let's now just take a look at ECBX. How it impacts our business. Remember what I asked you to remember? 80 ultimate packs. But if in the month of August, you enroll one new partner on an ultimate pack, you've qualified for the campaign and so is your new person. If you create four action points through customer subscriptions, you've become ECBX qualified for September. There's multiple ways of qualifying. So make sure you understand the route that you're choosing to go down, but make sure you're qualified for ECBX by the end of August. Why? Because if your goal is to go diamond, I don't care if you're brand new and just got started last week and you came in an ultimate, then you are ECBX qualified. And in September, you only need 27 ultimate partners and you're a diamond in your second month. And remember, we're not inc including new premier kit subscriptions. We're not including partners' auto orders. We're not including any of the other volume that's going to be added up and contributing to that volume. We're just talking about pure partner recruitment. So we either had 80 as an option, 39 as an option, or 27 as an option. Just put in the chat what number suits you better, 80, 39, or 27. See, this is smart business. This is calculated. This is planned. Success is a planned event, and we must know our numbers to know what we're doing. But now let's look at this. Remember, I said at the very beginning, it's your rank. It's your goal. So where do you see yourself? You go and make sure you're ECBX qualified in August, and maybe you want to go silver in September. Well, that's only one ultimate left and one ultimate right. You want to go gold? You only need two left and two right. Now, they don't need to be personally enrolled because if you bring on one left and one right and you help them bring on one each, you've hit gold. Four people and your gold in September. Executive, remember that? Well, I said there was a pattern occurring here. It doubles the volume. It doubles the amount of ultimate partners. Platinum, 6,000. That's only seven left and seven right, but they're not all your seven because by the time you're, you're golden executive, you've got one, two, three, four new people in your business. They're the most excited they're going to be for, for a long time because they're brand new and they're full of excitement. And that's where you want to drive the energy in helping those new people complete their fast starts. You want to go diamond? It's 14 ultimates left and 14 ultimates right. Is that better than 80? And you're going to make four to five thousand US dollars, maybe, I don't know, forgive me, six, six and a half thousand Canadian dollars. Pesos, forgive me, I have no idea. But that's a, all of a sudden you can start breaking it down. So this is ultimate, just on ultimate packs. No fast start subscriptions, no monthly residuals, yet you, we will get all of those added in. So it could actually be less partners required. But if we had to go from zero to diamond in September, because we're ECBX qualified, we're simply talking 28 business partners that come in on an ultimate. So now we know some numbers. But let's now put a plan of action together. We've agreed that ECB qualified and ECBX is going to impact our results faster. And that, that will require less exposures. So I'm going to show you now some numbers. And I'm not a numbers person. I like numbers, but I'd rather be hairy fairy. But you know what? You can be in network marketing and be as nice as you can be and be hairy fairy and love everybody. It doesn't mean you're going to make money. 
You've got to know what you're doing, where you're doing it, and who you're doing it with. So let's lose, use some conservative numbers. Remember that 80 number, 80 ultimate packs. And let's say that you're like Dave Ives, and it takes about 10 exposures, can, and exposures are not people that you've messaged. Exposures are people you've shown the opportunity to. A lot of people will tell me, well, Dave, I've texted 50 people and nobody's interested. No, 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 that's 50 people you've connected, but have you shown 50 people the presentation? No, well, then you haven't exposed anything yet. People actually think when they come to contact people, that's an exposure. No, it's not. Until you draw the plan and show them the product, show them the, the, the business presentation, that's not an exposure. So let's say out of 10 exposures, Dave Ives is good enough that I convert one person to become a partner. Now, if I need 80 ultimate packs and my success rate is one in 10, and it will get better, by the way. Some of you may be like Carla, who's probably one in two, one in three. Okay, so your number will get better. Remember, Marco taught me this in the very beginning. Anything you want to get good at, you have to be bad at first. Now, my conversion is not one in 10 anymore. It's better than that. But do you think, Oriens, do you think art's conversion rate is one in 10? Or do you think it's slightly higher? But they started somewhere, right? So that's why I want to use conservative numbers. So if we want 80 ultimate packs to come in our business in September, then we're going to need, and if we are, this is, this is conservative, if we are one in 10 conversion, then we're going to need 800 exposures throughout our team. And that's why we need to unify the message. Hey, we're making a run. Two, we've got to identify this because you can't do 800 exposures on your own. That's why you've got to identify three, four, five people who said they've got a goal. They're ready to go, and they are ready to lock arms with you. But in this analogy, 80 ultimates to go diamond. My success rate is 1 in 10, so I need 800 exposures throughout the team. And I know that I'm going to work alongside a handful of people. So let's look at that. You've got 80 people in. Some of you may be just you. And diamond is not your goal. That's why I want you to understand don't look at this training as well I'm, i don't want to be a diamond and this is a lot of numbers no no if you're just you and you want to go gold this principle applies the numbers just change but let's say you've got a team you've been around a while you're ready to now go for it well let's say you've got 80 people in your team well to get 800 exposures and some of those 80 people don't want to be a diamond they just want to be what a gold but their exposures will accumulate towards the goal. 80 people doing 10 exposures, or maybe you've got 10 people that are really ready to go, and they're willing to do 80 exposures throughout the month. Ladies and gentlemen, don't let the big numbers scare you when you break it down. 10 people exposing 800 exposures for a month, working together, that's only two and a half reach outs each a day. Two and a half reach outs is not a lot when we're business owners. That's if we were not ECB. If we're ECB qualified, 40 exposures, we only need half of that 800 to get the same result. So 10 people on your team who are ECB qualified or your ECB qualified doing 40 exposures a month that's only 1.2 reach outs a day. Do you really think if I, I, I being you and I, if we really want to now start building and advancing and we are professional and we want the dreams and goals that we say, two and a half reach outs a day, even if we want ECB qualified or not, is not a lot of effort. But if we're going to do the effort, why don't we do the effort smart and get rewarded for more? Now, of course, in August, we've got the ECBX campaign. Well, if you're ECB qualified X 
in August for September, then you only need 20, 270 exposures with a success rate of one in 10. That's less than half, that's less than one exposure a day per person. And it doesn't matter what, what combination, Dave, I'm not ECBX, I'm not ECB, I'm not ECB. Doesn't matter how you want to do this, but if you're going to do it, why don't we do it a smart way? Qualify for the campaign, put the same amount of effort in, but get triple the reward. <clears throat> what is a reach out? This is a couple of things that I'm sharing with our organization is when I'm reconnecting, when I'm uh, being more direct, these are just a couple of options. Okay, so I was, I was, I know Guy and Guy and I spoke about a couple of weeks ago. So, hey, hey, Guy, how are you, buddy? Look, I was just wondering if you can do me a big favor, give me a text or a call back when you got a minute. That's curiosity, right? That's a voice message for me. Guy comes back to me, sure, what's up? Hey, let me ask you a quick question. Now I'm more direct, right? Now I picked his interest, he's responded to my call to action. Hey, let me ask you a quick question, Guy. Are you open to a project outside of what you're presently working on right now? Now, again, there's scripts in the express start. There's scripts that you may have from your line of sponsorship. Find something that you feel comfortable with that rolls off your tongue that if you're if you're on the on the spot, you can come out with it. Now, if I, this is someone I know. If it's someone that I know of and I've connected with her before, Donna, I uh, may reach out to her and say, hey, Donna, how are you? Look, the reason I'm calling, can you just give me a quick call back? And then she gives me a call back. Yeah, what's up, Dave? Hey, look, Donna, quick one. If uh, I know you, you're uh, right. I'm very, I'm very specific now. I don't know. I know you're in. You're a, an educator, or I know you. You're a care worker, or I know. I I let them know what they're doing, right? I I because I would have gathered that data when I spoke to them before. If they're a connection, if they're a friend, I know what they do. Hey, Donna, how are you? Look, I, I know you. Um, last time we spoke, you were a high school uh, uh, teacher, right? You're still doing that? Yeah, yeah. Look, listen, if I could show you a health and wellness emerging market partnering with a publicly traded company and you and I could access the number one product, would that grab your business interest? No, Dave, no, no, no. I'm still teaching and I've really got a lot more. Hey, not a problem, Donna. I'm gone. I'm gone. Hey, but look, why I'd love to catch up with you very soon. Hope the family's really well. Because uh, right now I'm working on a project and I'm just looking for a handful of people. Be, be honorable, but be respectful, but don't, don't sit. You can say things respectfully and leave them in good flavor as long as you promote, edify, and are respectful of their time. So you can screenshot that if you want to, play around with that, add a little few things. But once we've unified the message, made a call to our team, once we've identified the few that we're going to be working with and we've started to organize them with getting them into that real proactive reach out mode, then we need to track it. Right? Because Guy can tell me, Dave, that I, yeah, I'm going to do 10 a day. Great guy. And I put down Guy on my board and he's going to do 10 a day. And Donna says she's up for it and she's going to do 10 a day. And um, But if we don't hold each other accountable, and I want you to write this down, not as a boss. Donna doesn't do anything for me. Donna's building her business. But she wants my help. We're going to lock arms together. So we've got to hold a, a, each other accountable, not to reprimand, not to say, well, you said you were going to do this, Donna, and I was counting on you, Donna, because your 10 was it. No. You want to say, hey, Donna, look, how did you get on uh, this week? Well, I did say uh, 10 day, but I only got three. I don't know. You know, that's, you know, that's great. But how come you didn't get even close to it? Well, Dave, I had something land on my desk at school and it came abroad. Hey, good. Excellent. Wow, that's fine. That's a priority. But, you know, when that happens, reach out to me more so I can step in. When you've got a goal, you need a two-way communication. And then you need to be able to track it. So whether you've got a, a tracker with your particular team, whether you're using the express start, 
whether you're using the goal sheet that's in the back office for 2024, where what is your goal? How many customers do you have right now? How many personal partners? If you're not putting numbers in there and tracking it, you can't measure what you're not tracking. And if Donna rings me up and says, Donna, how's it going? I go, well, uh, well, yeah, it's going okay. You can tell. Donna will be able to tell. I have no idea what's going on. And Donna goes, well, how's it going, Dave? Well, yeah, yesterday, Donna, I reached out to three. I had one that said yeah, they would like more information, and I'm tracking it. If you're not measuring, then we can't track it. And then in that period, now remember, I'm, I want to keep reminding us because I don't want you to be overwhelmed. If you don't have a goal, that's perfectly fine. We want you to enjoy the product. We want you to enjoy growing at your pace. But if you're saying, my time, it's go time for me. I need a, I need a rank advance, at least one rank in September. And by September, I want to create the growth. I want a rank advance because I know November is coming around as well. That growth starts today. But if you do, then you need to have that goal. Remember at the beginning, your goal, not Carlos, not Donna's, not Guy's, your goal. But that goal requires personal growth. As well as building volume, we got to get into our go core. I was li listening to Michael Klaus today. I was driving for three hours and I listened to two sets of Michael Klaus. If I've got a goal to grow and my business volume, business volume never comes beyond personal growth. We have a book of the month program where we're rereading, launching uh, a leadership revolution by Orion Woodward and Chris, um, Chris Brady, which is a book that Hilda talks about. So, and we just launched that two weeks ago with our team. And we're saying, if you really want to grow this month, you need to get into this book at least 10 to 20 pages a day. If you can't measure it, you're not tracking it, right? So get a tracker. I read 20 pages today. I listened to Go Cold today. Hold yourself accountable that you can hold one another accountable. You have to build volume and you have to build you. But you'll never build volume beyond where you've built you. They come hand in hand. So, weekly schedule. Enter all the planned activities into our calendar before we even start thinking about our time investing in our run. Well, many of us have a blank calendar and we can put in our careers, our job, our family, our church, our faith. And then we've got to put in those income producing activities of when am I going to spend some dedicated time reaching out, invites. When am I going to go and do some lead generation where, and your lead generation can come from your Facebook, your social media, your email list, your phone. And probably, if we're honest, we really don't have to go lead generate much because we really still have never gone through our list. We can go back to our list and start again. And you can always go back to people you've spoken to if you come with a different energy a different level of commitment and a different focus because they will sense it. And also their timing may have changed. So fill out your calendar, put your priorities in, your family, your faith, your income stream. And then what are you going to do for the rest of August? And what are you going to block out in September to maximize the ECP campaign? Because everybody wants to rank advance. Everybody's got a goal. Everybody has the will to win, as they say. But the reality is not everybody has the will to prepare to win. So over the next 24 hours, I challenge each and every one of you. Do you have a goal? If you don't, enjoy the culture. Enjoy the community. Turn up at the annual convention. Turn up to the, the, the was it, the, the Z, Z Fest that you've got coming up in the, the USA. Get around the environment, get around the events, at least be there so you can incubate and get around the, the energy. <clears throat> but if you generally have a goal and you're ready, then you have to be prepared 
to be ready. And go back to those four IPAs, income producing activities, contact and inviting, showing the plan, but following, uh, follow up. Sorry, let me see now. Contact, yeah, contacting and inviting, uh, making a list. Come back, come on, Dave. Making a list, contact, invite, and showing the plan and follow through. And that you have to track. We call it the go-getter. Fill out a sheet, put their names on there. Have you contacted them? What tool have you used? When did you follow? When did you show the plan? Did you bring uh, someone in a, a little bit further on in the business as a three-way? Really? You want to be doing more three ways than you've ever done in the next six weeks. Don't try building this as a lone ranger. No, I want to do it all on my own because I want to surprise Carla that I've gone diamond. No, 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 no. Go diamond together. That's the key. So decide your rank and unify the message to your team. Identify those who have a goal. Organize those runners. And it will only be a handful. But ladies and gentlemen, you only need three or four. You may want a team, and this is everyone's dream. We want hundreds, if not thousands, in our team. But do you know you only need two directors to be a crown? Do you know you only need two platinums to go diamond? One of the biggest things I've learned is I want everyone to be a diamond, but not everyone's ready to go diamond. That's why I've got to stop being a floodlight. I've got to be a laser beam. So you decide your rank. Unify the message. Identify the runners. Organize them. And let's do this as a team. And let's help as many people as we can in the next six weeks prepare to walk stage in Zedfest and in Oslo. And I hope that was of value. Thank you, Carla. Dave, you are absolutely incredible. I mean, this time has went by so fast. I've got so many notes myself. And you know what's kind of fun, Dave, is that this is the season every year, I think in most of direct sales, that this is the season that uh, from August, September, October, November, this is when the most growth is. So when there, Zinzino's putting forth a uh ecbx campaign in this month that we can qualify for next month that's meaning that they everybody can hit a new title next month but what is that really going to say for uh october and november and and the growth that's going to help for next year and the years to come uh all the new partners going to start and then we're going to get them to the z fest we're going to get them to the to the annual event and that's going to make a compound effect of growing in the business so it's an exciting time right now right dave it's uh, you know we know what's we know it's coming uh, and there's going to be those who prepare to take advantage of that carla um and you know what the great thing about is you know they want to pay us more than we've earned isn't that crazy they want they'll pay us more than what we've earned why because it creates stories, it creates belief that then creates momentum that then you go and repeat that process. So when November comes around, whether it be now, I'm not gonna say whether it is or not, cause I don't know, but generally we have an ECBX month or we have a Black Friday month in November. So that's September really is a launch pad for November. And because people have taken advantage of this scenario, years gone by, Zenzino is now a $200 million company. And it's going to 250 this year. That's now attracting leaders. That's now putting us in a position economically that says CEO can make a, a, a strategic um, decision to acquire companies that are beneficial to the markets. Love it. Where are we going to be in the next three, four years mm -hmm. when we hit that billion dollar? It's exciting. I'm excited about it, Dave. But it's these little bursts of energy focused in alignment with a handful of people on your team that makes that happen. So build, set a goal, get clarity, 
Use the campaigns for your focus. All of our focus in October, uh, in August, is to help as many people make sure they're ECBX qualified. And then identify three to five people on your team. If you've got a team that want to rank advance with their goal, and if that accumulatively all adds up and helps you achieve your goal, brilliant. If it doesn't, help them hit theirs and go get new blood. And you'll make some noise. Zed Fest is going to be a party. It's going to be a great event. You know that. Art John knows how to run a convention. Um, and annual conventions, for those who have never been, don't, you won't want to miss an annual convention going forward. And Particularly yes. when you've set a goal, you've hit a goal, and it's your time to be recognized and celebrated. <laughs> I'm just, oh, you got me just already up flying high, and I haven't even got to the Z or the Z Fest, which is Z Fest here. Uh, and, and this is the first convention here for all of North America, the very first one. So I hope everybody is going to make that decision so that you can unify, identify, and organize the team so that you get your next title coming up here. Everybody can do it. <laughs> so Dave, thank you so much. We can use this every month, actually, with every campaign. We can go back and have this. So I hope everybody tags everybody in their team in the comments here. Uh, and we are streaming directly to the North American uh, Teams and Xeno page. So make sure you post everybody in there, tag them, and uh, let's make sure we all hit that next level. So we're getting closer to uh, our 100 million. Thank you, Dave. You are incredible. I so appreciate you. And I think this is one of those instances where people can really see Zencino isn't just a business. It's a family that you can belong to. So thanks so much, Dave. So I'm going to let You're everyone welcome. continue. Thanks Have a blessed day, everyone. Take care. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Dave and Carla. Thank you. Try to get off here. Thank, thank you to our Carla. translator down there too. Thank um, you, Tanya, uh, for translating. Thank you, Dave and Carla. Thank you. Carla. This week in the program, thank you. Uh, that it's become one of. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. You too, Carla. Oh.